Hello everyone, sorry I'm trying to wake up. I had a little break. Okay, so today's video is about unpacking some of what I brought from Japan. I've been traveling with the things that I like the most or still want to try, so I thought I will share with you. So just to give you a little bit of a reason why I went to Japan, besides the fact that I'm really obsessed with the culture, since a very young age, I read many books from Japanese author, uh, followed the Japanese artists. I really have this fascination around the tradition and the modernity, the minimalist and the depth of everything and the symbolism of this most simple gesture. I wouldn't say like opposites, but all these things are quite different, completely coexist together in Japan. and. I find it quite fascinating and I really adore the symbolism they put behind everything. I've been traveling a lot to Japan the past few years, as soon as I could travel on my own basically. And I even did a road trip in Japan. I love it. So because of Covid I couldn't go for a while. And for Guerlain, I you know I have my brand but also I'm the creative director of makeup for Guerlain. I design all the products and create collections, makeup collections, and I have to do one per year for Japan. And so I asked them if we could travel there for research so I could really get to know the culture even more, do research, try to find artists to collaborate with, get inspired by the craftsmanship of the culture, etc. We went there, did a few events, but then we really focused on digging into the culture. I've been very lucky enough to attend a really incredible thing. It's a very precious moment that they welcome me to and uh, it was really for research purposes and to get to know it, not necessarily to share it. Somehow I uh, kind of want to keep it for myself and it's just feeding me a lot for creation. I want to make down the line for Japan market so I'm really really happy and again thank you Gana so much for organizing me such an incredible trip. It was really magical. Everybody took really seriously the research I wanted to do and did everything they could to make it the most authentic possible and like when we all came back we were almost needed a minute to adapt and to get out of this trip, this travel I want to say. So a few things I brought back I want to share with you. Let's start with makeup, well, I mean beauty products. I haven't tested everything yet so this is just a tenth of everything I brought back. First this mask NMF I bought a ton to give to my team when I was back in New York and I tried it. It's, I guess my skin needs more moisture so it was fine but I had to put a ton of bumbo milk underneath and this on top to really feel a bit of hydration but it was not as good as what I was hoping. Will I reuse it? I'm not sure, but uh, sometimes I like when I do a shoot to keep it for models I work with. It's a nice flash mask. Well, I'm pretty sure most of you know this brand. Then I bought this thing and I didn't try yet. I really want to. This one looks obvious that it's for like refreshing legs. I have water retention. Every time it's warm, I can quickly blow my legs and feel heavy and sometimes even painful. So when I'm in Paris, I do a lot of limpeting drainage. But then I saw these things, like, it looks like it's fresh and it's gonna make the blow circulate. <laughs> I was like, that's old school, let me try. The usual ones we have are tights, are not refreshing. I'll try, I'll tell you if it's really good, but I'm super curious. If you know, let me know what it is. Tell me more. This one, I don't know. I saw it was for legs. <laughs> it's like, I'll try, it was in the same section. And I have no idea what it does, so I have to do Google Translate. I don't know if it's for moisture, or it's for blood flow, or it's for bloated legs. Please help. <laughs> then I bought all these sunscreens. The Nivea UV Super Water 50 Gel. Apparently the ingredients are different in Japan and they're better. I can't use stuff on my face without digging into the formula. But I'm really curious. UVT Protect and Care 50 as well plus from Nivea 2 and Anessa 50 plus SPF as well. The problem for me is, is it fragrance? Let's see. It doesn't smell like they're fragrance at all. As soon as it's fragrance, essential oils, some of them do have it, it's over. I'm still itchy from one I tested the other day. So I heard great things about this one, so I'm gonna try. If you did, also let me know. Let's make it a discussion. I'm kind of excited about this one. So I let you know as well, I'm always a bit scared of the gel, see, formula, because 
Like you really need a layer of protection. So I, maybe I should get the lamp that makes you see how covered you are. What else? This guy this is from the brand Heroin Make. So we were in this store that has a million products. It's actually very overwhelming when you get in because the music is blasting, lights are like in your face. It's like there's so much stuff like you don't know and like all, everything is written in Japanese. So I was with my Google Translate <laughs> looking at everything trying to and sometimes I was like, you know what? Let's just buy things that I think I understand and I don't and I'll look at it later because you can't stay there for too long. So I bought this thing because on the packaging you could see this eye with the brush and like it kind of were melting. I thought, is it a mascara remover? And it is. It's a plastic brush that has waterproof makeup remover in it. And this little plastic brush really allows you to press the formula on the mascara, completely melt it. And what I love to do is because I put a lot of eye pencil between my lash line, I can really rub it and really remove it really well. I don't use it every day, it's gonna be over pretty soon. And also, yeah, an advice, like once you did it and you want more formula, just make sure you clean it before putting it back. It's so good. Then, I don't know, I bought this little, I bought a lot of this little sticker for nails for my daughter, Ines. And I thought it's actually really cute. You know, like a beige, light transparent beige on my nails and then I can just put this on top. I mean, you'll have to put top coats on top so it lasts longer, but I love nail art when it's like small. It's cute. Then, this is Curl Fix Mascara from Etude and it's amazing because it really holds the curl perfectly all day. And it, there is black on it, so sometimes when I don't want to put any makeup on really, but I just want this little bit like baby eye, I put this on and it curls the lashes and make it, them be darker because my lashes are blonde. Really, really nice. But otherwise, I use it before mascara. I, put, I curl my lashes really well, right away put this on, I put my mascara on top. This is my favorite thing. I tried this one, a very nice blurring lipstick. The color is so nice. But I have very textured lips, so if it's not hydrating, And I think it's actually nicer when it's more, but um, I want to. This is from the brand BBIA, BIA, I don't, I don't know how to say it, in the color 12. It's Korean. Then I got this lip tint, oh I like this, I haven't tried it yet, but I really like the color. And then uh, there's all this other mascara, this is a fixer mascara, that's more gel, not so much pigment. You have the Born to Be. Mad proof, in case you get mad, that doesn't move, we love to know this. Black uh, mascara, I still have to test a bit more. And then this one is the ink color one. So this one I got it more for the color because it's something like this burgundy brown that I thought was really nice. Then I got from Kokoro Iki, this mascara that is metallic. It's my own says mascara. So. Maybe I'll do a look with it. And then there is this uh, One Day Tattoo Real Lasting Eyeliner. I never tried tattoo makeup. The idea of having stuff on my face I can't remove makes me feel like it's dirty. So I don't know, I wanna try. Okay, so that's for beauty. Then we went to Kyoto, art and craft kind of store to find things. You know, I write everything for my work, notebooks, I have tons of them. I sketch, I draw, I put my ideas on all this little booklet. When I travel, I put also memories because my travel I also saw some inspiration for my work and I found those notebook basically so it looks like this and then like that and I'm just I don't know when I saw this I was mind blown this is so and it can look like a book this is so pretty and incredible I love it. I wish I took much more than that, but I'm going back next year, so I'll bring a lot. But sometimes I show, when I have press event or stuff, I show my carnet, we call this in French, and you can see some of my notes and stuff, and I thought like it's so cute to show it like this. Anyway, that was probably one of my biggest crush from the entire trip. Then matcha, so I looked into the best quality matcha. I don't know if this is it, but from what I've heard, it is. I think they won, this one won an award. You have a different type of matcha as well. 
Uh, this one is probably a ceremonial one, Uji Matcha Unjo. I love it because they sell it like this in the can and one, once you open it, you have one month, I think, to drink it. I mean, I drink everyday matcha, I don't think I'll do one month of this. So delicious, absolutely delicious. Paints I got from Japan. I got a lot of paint, but I don't have them all with me because some of them are really big. Painting, I got um, the little stick that you rub in water against a stone to make your own paint. And if you're into it, I'll, I'll do maybe a story on Instagram to, to show you, let me know. Um, it's just so much that I didn't bring and I put everything on a huge board in my office to swatch everything, the fabrics I brought, uh, because these are incredible, so some inspiration. Then you're like, why are you showing me this? Don't worry, I have nothing in my head for you. <laughs> These are belts. We went to this vintage kimono store in Kyoto and the belts color, I thought, were incredible. So I brought them to get a little piece of it for developments. Like for example, this has a lipstick, Petal Rouge. Super nice. Even this as a lipstick, I thought, could be interesting. I know it looks scary, but if you twist the pigment's level, it could actually become a much more wearable. I hate saying wearable, like you can wear anything you want. <laughs> but more my taste, I guess. Also has an eyeshadow, insane. I'm still on my purple face, but look at this thing. So I travel with them because I'm finishing my inspiration book from the trip and other things that I've seen right now and so I cut pieces to not forget. So yes, that, that's it and I bought a lot of things for Ines. I got also this beautiful vase with and you put a seed in the neck of the vase and you put the water and it grows with the roots that it dips in the water and it grows like this. I got this incredible bag that I cannot find. It rolls really small and when you open it it's this gigantic bag to buy groceries. But the amazing thing, you know how you always annoyed to fold it back again? This thing like you just let it drop on the floor and it like goes super folded, perfect, you just have to roll it and it's done. I bought a lot of camping stuff for Steven. <laughs> Found a little camera with films, but I couldn't travel with everything. So if you want to see more, I'll do a little Instagram stories on all these other products from New York as a follow-up. Voila, so when I do travels, I'm gonna go to China and Hong Kong probably Seoul next year and also Japan again. I'm also gonna go in August uh, to Australia. Cause I'm launching there. So bring back some stuff probably. If you like that, we'll do more. Thank you for watching.